Hey viewers, welcome back to another episode of MDIL Skin Care Series with Dr. Paki Pereira from Kaya Skin Clinic. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about pigmentation, so let's get right into it. Dr. Paki, what exactly is pigmentation? Who's susceptible to it, and why does it occur? Pigmentation is essentially a collection of extra color in any particular area of the skin. So in one point, it might actually be a normal color, but in another part of your body, it may be seen as a pigmentation. And uh, the actual term is hyperpigmentation. Uh, let's keep it simple and call it pigmentation alone. Uh, you asked who's more susceptible to it. Well, uh, the more color you make, the more easily you can get pigmentation because of any insult to the skin. So that means people who are darker colored, uh, brown skin or darker skin races, even olive skin people would be getting pigmentation easily. But uh, that's not to say that lighter skin people don't get pigmentation, they do, but to a lesser extent. Irrespective of skin types, of course, uh, there are people who would be more prone to pigmentation. For example, during pregnancy, uh, women in the menopausal age, and uh, even people who are suffering from the thyroid disorder. So what are some treatment options available for those that are affected by pigmentation? The treatment of pigmentation uh, has one main consideration. Uh, where is the color in the skin? Of course, another thing to consider is, uh, is the trigger for the pigmentation there? So if you're looking at uh, pigment levels in the skin, anything that's in the epidermis is very easy to remove because the epidermis naturally sheds every day. The dermis though doesn't do that and uh, we need to think of more options of treatment in those cases. Uh, peels, microdermabrasion, uh, mesotherapies, lasers are all available nowadays. It's important for a doctor to ascertain at the beginning itself what sort of color you have. Do you have an epidermal color, dermal color or a combination of the two? Uh, there are cases where the pigmentation may be uh, additionally a part of something else. For example, acanthosis nigricans. This is something that happens in people who are overweight, uh, in diabetics and uh, of course in pregnant ladies too, where you see a thickening and darkening of the skin which happens in folds of body. For example, the back of your neck, your underarms, could be your groin region also. And these cases would need both lifestyle changes like losing weight or controlling your diabetes to get a proper uh, response to treatment. Uh, newer therapies like mesotherapy uh, and lasers like Q-switch lasers are uh, available now in our country and these help in removing deeper colors. Uh, the Q-switch laser works uh, beautifully on colors which are uh, unresponsive to uh, therapies like creams at home or even the peels. Mesotherapy is an injectable therapy which can be done uh, with or without anesthetic creams on your skin and uh, these work beautifully to remove colors especially if you're looking at uh, quick results but you have less time on your hands. So doctor, in your experience, what is the best way to prevent pigmentation? Well, Shilpa, the, uh, most pigmentations will need to be treated once they've occurred. But the commonest pigmentation we as Indians are looking at is tanning. And the best way to prevent this is to use sunscreen. Uh, two key points here is sunscreens need to be used both indoors and outdoors because both internal lighting and the sun can cause darkening of our skin. Also, most sunscreens don't last beyond four to five hours. So please reapply at least at lunch. So that's it for today's episode on pigmentation. Tune into our next episode where we discuss aging and how it can be tackled. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys later.